Hi, I'm Matt Hunter, and this is a Digital Monkey School short form module on Voxatron by Lexalawful. And in this module, we will be looking at making secret doors. So if we go to our designer and go to our objects tab, we can go to anywhere in here. We can go to doors or create a new folder. I'll just create a new folder for this stuff and create a new, add a new item. And this item I'm going to set to be 12 by 12 by 1. And this is going to be the secret door. So over here in the color palette, I'm going to use this negative color here to make the secret door. And you'll see why soon. So if I just use the fill tool here and color that in, this is all now negative space. Now I'm going to create another, and this will be the wall. So this is the this is the door, and this will be the wall. And so this is going to be a much larger space. So I'll do 64 by 64 by 1. Oops, 64 space 64 space 1. And with the fill tool again, I'll color this in gray. Now if we go back to our room. If I try placing this, it's going to be on the floor. So first I have to press, hold down shift and press R to rotate this. And now it's facing upward. So I'll go back to the room and I'll place my wall first. And then I'll place my doorway. Now you don't see the doorway because it's negative, so it's actually invisible. But once you click, you can see that it's this little grid of invisible voxels. So I'll just line it up to the wall here. And this is where the door is going to be, right here. Now, this doesn't look very secret right now. You can kind of see through there. It's just a hole in the wall. But what we can do is we can set the trigger over here for this door to be set by the actor, player, and set it to distance. And if we set this number to something like 50 voxels, then when we get close to the door, it'll open. And another thing we can press here is this, this button, which will allow the door to lift from the ground instead of automatically opening. So let's just move our player a little bit further back so he's not automatically opening the door. I'm just doing that with the arrow key. And now I'll play. So you can see that the door is not there yet. And if I move closer, the door opens. And a way to tell how many voxels 50 is, we could just create a 50 by 50 by 1 voxel object, just as a, a measurement for ourselves. And if we go back to the room, we can just place this in there at exactly 50, at exactly the door entrance. And so now when I walk up to this up to the edge here, it shouldn't activate the door until I get there. And the way to tell from the side is from it'll be from this the left to the right, the bottom to the top. So if we wanted to test from the side, we can move it all the way over like that. So now we can just play this and see if this is what we like. So it's not going to open unless I get onto the red. There you go. And that's all for Secret Doors. Thank you for watching, and uh, more to come.